Hello everyone, it's Ren here. Um, I'm recording early, the night before, because it's nice outside, actually. It's been mostly 115 here in Virginia, so um, it's actually kind of cool. Um, so this week's uh, topic is um, being outed. Um, I've had a couple of situations with this, um, especially if I'm out with friends or um, at my last job that I had. Um, I was outed at my last job um, by a manager. And everyone was okay with it except for one lady. Um, She's an older lady, um, not going into anything else, um, but she's an older lady. She was very, like, straightforward, um, about her opinions, um, you know, very homophobic and transphobic, um, because I had heard her talking about some stuff before because... A gay couple had come into our store and she had a lot to say about it and I just kept my mouth shut well a manager outed me um, uh, by talking about some paperwork while this lady was in the back office with us saying how uh, we would have to fix my paperwork uh, or my paperwork would have to say uh, female um, on it because that's what my birth or my social security and my birth certificate say. And this lady had the most disgusted look on her face, and so she started spreading rumors um, about me saying some obscene stuff, just stuff that I won't repeat. Um, and it was pretty degrading. Um, and after that happened, um, I took it to upper manage. Well, I took it to my manager. Um, she told me to take it to upper management, so I took it to upper management. Then I took it to corporate, and there was nothing they could do about it. So my hours went down. I wasn't getting any hours at work, and then eventually. I was just like, I have to go, like, because this lady had given the managers and corporate an ultimatum. She had been there for 10 years. If she, that's what she said about me, if she doesn't leave, I will. So, when I heard about that, I just told him that I would leave because I'm not going to be let go because of who I am. I will leave, you know because of, you know, I'm not going to stay, you know, in a hostile environment like that. So I ended up leaving. Um, friends, I have maybe a couple that out me on accident. They'll be like, oh, yeah, she, and then they'll be like, oh, I'm sorry, he. Um, my mother's another story, um, where we live. Um, we live a, around a lot of elderly, um, so she's not able to use he, or, yeah, yeah, he, because they don't understand, and it's very hard to describe my situation. I take care of my mother, um, she's disabled, so we live in a place where, um, I'm her caretaker, so what is written and what is written through my social security and all that is who I am. No one around where we live in this in this community will understand, so I kind of just have to hide who I am, um, which is very frustrating, but um, that's just how it is in order for my mom to live comfortably. 
but when she does get the chance, she tries to use him, and he, but it's not often. So, it's a very frustrating situation, um, but at my new job, everyone knows that I'm trans. Um, I work at a coffee shop, so everyone is either, they're all open, you know. So, being out is not fun. Um, I don't get mistaken for female. I maybe have a couple times at my new job. Mostly, people just think I'm a gay man. <laughs> I guess it's because my voice is higher when I'm not trying to make it deep. But, who knows. But, yeah. Being out is not fun. Um, it's just not... I don't know what else to say. This is a long video. Um, but I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. And I love you. And I appreciate every one of you guys who watch this. Uh, and then watch our channel and watch all the other guys. Um, and I hope you guys have a great week.